pick your Bible with me quickly. Matthew 25, 1 through 12, we stand for the reading. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lambs and went forth to meet the bridegroom. I want to hear you in verse 2. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. Maybe I can hear your voice more better. They that were foolish took the alarms and took no oil with them. But the wise took the oil in their vessels with the alarms. Verse 5. Why the bridegroom tarried and they all slumbered and slept. Verse 6. At the midnight there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Verse 7. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Verse 8. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. <laughs> Verse 9. But the wise answered and said, Not so. Let's be not enough for us and you. But go here rather to them that sell and buy. I'm not hearing you. Verse 10. And when they went to buy, the bridegroom came and they were ready, went in with him to marriage and the door was shut. Verse 11. And afterward came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Verse 12, thunder it like a living being. But he answered and said, Really I say unto you, I know you not. Mystery of the oil and light. Mystery of the oil and light. That's a topic today. Mystery of the oil and light. Mm. We all are be born in well, and your robe be pure and white. Ready when the bridegroom comes by and by. Just wait. Oh, be ready. Oh, be ready. Ready when the bride grooms come are you ready oh be ready ready when the bride grooms come the light has just gone off and because the light is off right now if I were you what am I going to do when the light is I, I, I thought you should know what you should do. The light just went off now. I, I thought you should know what you should do. Uh, you see it, you don't, you are not catching it. Uh, the light is already off right now. Uh, I thought you should understand. That's it. And that's it. What is going on right now? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, if you close if you shut down your light, uh, you can't close my own light. Uh, I have a light with me right now. Some people think that they can quench their own light and stop your own light. Well, uh, you are not getting me. You are not getting me. Maybe it will sink right now. There are people who think they own the light of your life. Uh, and sometimes they try to switch it off. And when, when they switch it off, God just taught you something now. What? What, 
what I what what came to your head? You just told yourself that I think I have a torch light. I can light myself up. Stop waiting for people to shine their light when you have like your light. Sometime pressure of life will create your own light. Oh, am I helping somebody here? I'm not hearing you well. I say sometime pressure of life will make you create your own light. I want you to dwell on this light first. Sometime pressure of life will make you to create your own light. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody shot fire three times. Some people don't even understand what I'm doing right now. They are waiting. They are looking at their neighbor light. They don't understand. You are waiting for somebody to help you. And God is saying that there is a light inside you that can shine in 2021. Whether federal government like it or not. Whether the government of Nigeria stand by you or not. There is a light. There is a light. If I were you, I will stand with that light in 2021 pandemic or no pandemic my light will shine ah in 2021 whether the devil like it or not whether they like it or not my light will shine i prophesy they might use darkness all over your life but your light will shine i thought you were shouting that one well i say your light will shine i say your light will shine. Your light will shine. Sit down. You can all need back. Mm. So, hear this, hear this, hear this, hear this, hear this. Some of you did not know you have a light until darkness hit you. You don't know what you carry until darkness hit you. Am I helping somebody here? Sometimes you don't know your capacity until there is a pressure that fights on you. Am I communicating? I came to talk to somebody here. I prophesy your light will shine in 2021. Ah, as dark as situations of life may be, Listen to me. You don't value it until darkness hit you. I prophesy in less than 24 hours. That thing that is inside you that the world have not seen will come out. Uh, I thought you were shouting that thing very well. I, I, I prophesy to you. The goodness of God will shine over your life. Ah, uh, many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver you from them. Uh, am I communicating? Uh, of what beauty is light without darkness? Uh, of what beauty is healing without sickness? Uh, of what beauty is riches without poverty? Uh, of what beauty is protection without insecurity? Sometimes the attacks of the enemy is a result of what God wants you to value. I prophesy you will value that light inside your life. Uh, I thought somebody is hearing me well. Uh, they must have fought your father, but they will not be able to fight you. Uh, uh, this light will shine. This light will shine. This light will shine. Uh, uh, there might be darkness. Uh, some people think they hold the electricity of your life. Uh, so they go to the transformer and off the light. Uh, and they say, let us see how you will shine. Uh, tell them I have a good news for you. Uh, I am not going to shine by your light. Uh, I have my own lamp. Uh, it's going to shine for me. Am I prophesying to somebody here? In 2021, you are not going to wait for people because you are going to shine in your capacity. Uh, am I communicating? They say without them, you cannot become somebody. Tell them the Lord is about to surprise you. God is about to do mighty things in your life in less than 48 hours. You will enter another dimension that your father has not entered. Uh, the louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. 
sit down. Jesus begin to speak here. A parable of the ten virgins. And he lacking the kingdom of heaven to this virgins. He lacking the kingdom of heaven to this virgins. So the kingdom of heaven was lacking to a to ten virgins. The Bible never called their, their, their sex or their gender. The Bible just said they are virgins. Can I prophesy to somebody here? Whatever it's your destiny that God has written, it will manifest. Uh, I thought you were shouting that one well. <laughs> all of them were ten virgins, meaning they were all born again, all righteous, all holy. Like every one of you, you are under this same roof, preparing for 2021. All praying at the same time. Dancing at the same time. But there are some things you are going to do that will differentiate every one of you. If I call everyone under this roof here, everyone will say, I am a Christian. I'm born again. I'm spirit filled. I've surrendered my life to Christ. Ten of them were virgins. Ten of them were virgins. Meaning they are born again, holy, righteous, heavenly candidates. They were only righteous heavenly candidate for heaven but there's something i want to speak to somebody here you will not miss heaven i say you will not miss heaven i say you will not miss heaven i prophesy your spiritual virginity will not be taken away from you uh, the louder the amen the quicker the glory i thought you were shouting it where <laughs> Hear me, they were all qualified for the bridegroom. Ten of them were all qualified. Ten of them. It was not an issue of being disqualified, but it became a journey. Every one of you under this roof is qualified for 2021. And you are going to enter. But how far the journey is going to take you will be determined by you. The bridegroom had prepared himself and said, oh, Ten of you are qualified. When you hear the word bridegroom is an husband. And the Bible says that he, they were all prepared for the journey. All prepared to meet the bridegroom. The Bible now further break it down into two. That five of them were foolish. And five of them were wise. Listen to me. What will become of you is either you are foolish or you are wise. You can be born again and be a tongue talker and be foolish Christian. You can be born again and you are bound. The Bible never said they were not going to make heaven. They were qualified on this journey. But the Bible classified them. Five were foolish. Five were wise. So it simply means you can be holy, you can be righteous, and be foolish. Foolishness is a demon. To be foolish is to be full of leash. Am I, am I communicating? Foolishness. Five of them were wise. Five of them were foolish. The Bible didn't say they were possessed. The Bible said they were foolish. The Bible didn't say, <laughs> the Bible didn't say they were attacked by ancestral power. No. They were not attacked by the idol from their father's house. They were not attacked by powers from their mother's side. They were born again, tongue talker. But five of them were foolish. Follow me. And let's read. Put verse 2. But the answer, but five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. How far you are going to go in 2021 is either you are wise or you are foolish. You can be a tongue talker and if you are foolish, you will not end the journey well. You can be a tongue talker Holiness. 
You are not committing anything. If you are foolish, you might not be able to finish the journey. Let's look at verse 3. Go on with me. Verse 3. He said, And they that were foolish took lamps and took no oil with them. <laughs> they that were foolish, they took lamps and they took no oil with them. I prophesy, you will not fall by the roadside. You will not fall by the roadside. Am I communicating? I prophesy, you will not fall on the roadside. I thought you were shouting that amen like thunder. He said they took no oil with them, but they had the lamp. They carried the lamp up and down. They were walking with the lamp and there was no oil. And that's the reason why the Bible said they were foolish. The reason why they were foolish was not because they don't have a lamp. They actually have a light. But they did not carry extra oil with them. Now, when I begin to study the Bible about the lamp, and I discover in Psalm 119 verse 105 that the Bible said, Thy word is a lamp to my path and a light to my path. So the lamp that they took was the word of God. So they had the word of God. So it is very possible to carry the word of God and still be foolish. It is very possible to preach the word of God and still be foolish. It was, the Bible was not saying that they were not word-based Christian. They were word-based Christian with the lamp. Because when the Bible said they carried the lamp, they carried the word. But they were foolish. The Bible said there was no oil. When I begin to check what is the oil there, the Lord made me to understand that the oil is the spirit of God because the spirit giveth life and then the Bible said quench not the spirit fire so it is very possible to know the word of God and not understand the move of the spirit what is going to keep you in this end time is not only the word of God but the move of the spirit you are in a prophetic church some of you don't understand God can tell me walk around this place seven times and the person with the word will say what is he doing is he a magician because they don't understand you can know the word but if you don't carry the spirit you are going to stop halfway that is why we have so many Christians quoting the word but they don't have the spirit for the latter kill it and the spirit give it life God begin to speak to me and said to me he said Son, do you know why most of my children they coach the word, they teach the word, they preach the word, but they don't know the spirit behind the word? He said, The word that I speak to you, they are spirit and life. So hear me, you can carry the lamp if you don't carry the spirit, you will remain one side. I thought I'm preaching to somebody here. Am I talking to somebody here? Shut fire, shut fire, shut that fire like thunder three times. I am tired of believers. I am tired of believers. Would be a mighty, would be a Shadrach, but they cannot understand the move of the Spirit. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh, you can know about Jericho, but if you don't know how to surround Jericho seven times, you might not be able to fall the walls of Jericho down. Am I communicating? Shut fire three times. Shut Shut fire, shut fire, shut fire. My lamp is burning, but there is no extra oil. 
the first place why is this lamp burning the spirit of God was behind it but some people don't understand when God called you when you came to faith when you started serving God you were serving God in spirit and in truth you were burning for Christ until somebody told you all these fake prophets up and down don't believe in them so you become a owner of the word but you don't have the spirit anytime they say bring water you say they have said again to bring water what are they doing that is why your lamp you are being foolish for the works of the spiritual man are foolish to the carnal man for to be carnally minded is dead but to be spiritually minded is life everlasting and peace you say is it not Joshua Igila that I used to talk with that is why you are not going anywhere because you don't understand that you can know the man by container you may not know the content that the man carry if any man must follow a prophet you must not follow him after the order of the flesh that's why some of you think you know me and that's why when you begin to see a change you don't understand how is he doing it I want to talk to you it's not about carrying the lamp it's about carrying the oil am I talking to somebody here you can carry the lamp and the oil is not inside the lamp that's why as I'm talking now it's only few people that can get what I'm saying am I talking to somebody here somebody said fire am, am I talking to somebody here when you carry the lamp you said my salary is 100,000 for one year it will be 1.2 but when you carry the oil I can tell you you will make 1 billion and you say how is it going to happen the Holy Spirit will make it happen am I talking to somebody here if you must enter the next dimension in 2021 carry the oil and carry the lamp the oil cannot operate without the lamp and the lamp cannot operate without the oil you need to understand how to bring life to what you hear am i talking to somebody here shut fire three times sit down i am tired of no more christians who don't want to carry the power? Who don't want to carry the fire? Who just want to narrow God to their level of understanding? You don't get it. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. You can sleep a poor near and wake up a below near. I don't care how, is, how you feel about it. But hear me, the Bible say, the one that were wise, they took the oil. They understand the lamp and they understood the oil because the oil will breathe on the lamp. And when the oil combined with the lamp, the fire will not go off. Am I talking to somebody here? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Papa, I don't have any man in my life. I know, I know, I know. But by the oil, the man can be in America. The man can be in UK. The oil will draw the man down to Abuja. What the oil can do. Uh, Papa, I am having all manner of debt. You don't get it. It's not about paying the debt yourself. When the oil come, God can send one person to clear the debt. If you look at the lamp and not look at the oil, the lamp will deceive you. Am I talking to somebody here? The light is shining because the oil is available. I prophesy in less than 24 hours, the oil is about to speak for your situation. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody say HIV cannot be here. Who said so? By virtue of the oil. 
no sickness that cannot be healed. Somebody say COVID cannot be. Who said so? By virtue of the oil, COVID can be healed. Am I talking to somebody here? I will not enter 2021 like a chicken. I am entering courageously. I prophesy. You will not die foolishly. You will enter with wisdom. You will enter with wisdom. You will enter with wisdom. Shout that fire three times. Go on with the next verse. But the wise one took oil and vessels with the alarms. <laughs> they did not just only take the lamp. They took extra oil. Wisdom. Wisdom. Take extra. Take. Life is a personal race. Personal. Personal. Listen to me. There are people gossiping up and down, wasting their time. And there are people carrying extra oil for their life. I, 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 you're not getting me. Huh? Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody came to meet me and said, Ah, hey, Papa, I had ABC. I said, Well, keep hearing why I'm making my life better. Listen to me. There are people wasting their time looking at the lamp, and there are people carrying the lamp, carrying extra oil. Extra oil. Because hear me, if you don't carry extra oil, you will soon run out of oil. Am I communicating? Extra idea. Extra courage, extra faith, extra prayer, extra fasting, extra, extra. I will not die by the roadside. This thing will not kill me. I will make it and cross over. I prophesy you will run over this battle in the name of Jesus. I thought you are shouting that one well. If you shout it, you are coming out. I say if you shout it, you are coming out. I thought you are shouting it like like thunder. I thought you were shouting it like thunder. Listening to me without the oil, the lamp will not burn. Listening to me without the oil, the lamp will not burn. Some of you, you just need one word tonight, one word, and 2021 you will run through. Can I speak to somebody here? Nothing shall be impossible for you, 2021. Ah, uh, if I were you, I would shout it. Huh? Nothing, 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 nothing. Huh? Financially, nothing. Huh? Whatever you desire. My name is Joshua Igilla. I am your spiritual father. By the mandate of the Aurora on my head. 2021. Nothing, nothing. Whatever you desire, whatever you desire, uh, whatever you desire, I declare it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. I say it shall come to pass. Somebody shut fire. Shut fire. Shut fire. Shut fire. The louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. I thought you were shouting that one well. Uh, am I communicating? Shout that fire like thunder. I see you crossing 2021 20, to 2022 to 2023 to 2024 to 2025 to 2026 to 2027 to 2028 to 2029 to 2030. You hear, hear, you shall not die. What swallow people 2020 will not swallow you. I break that power. That power that says you will die. You shall not die. Let Joshua Igila live and not die. I am the man that the Lord has given me. We are made for signs and wonders. The louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. I break the powers. I break altars. I break altars. You gain access in the spirit. I thought you were shouting that amen like thunder. Sit down. Jesus was the word and he's called the lamp. 
Jesus was the word walking about for 30 years without fire. 30 years. It's good to know the word, but without the spirit, you are finished. For 30 years, he was a word, the lamp, walking all about. Men were admiring him, but the word was not showing forth to be contagious. He was walking around until one day he met a man called John the Baptist in the river of Jordan. And when he walked to John the Baptist, John the Baptist was an access point to the spirit. The Bible said when he was baptized, the heaven opened and the spirit of God came upon the lamp and the lamp became a wise lamp and not a foolish lamp. I prophesy. I came as a John the Baptist to give your lamp access to the oil. I give your lamp access to the oil. I give your lamp access to the oil. Shot fire three times. Somebody once asked me, he said, I don't know why when we fight you, we are reducing. The more I fought you, everything around my life was scattering. And I look at you as small thing that I can handle. He said, but I don't understand. The more I get angry with you, my door are closed. And I told him, it's a mystery. I, you, I told him it's a mystery. 1992, I encountered an angel physically. 96, I encountered an angel physically. 99, I encountered that same angel. And I know my covenant work. You don't know where I'm coming. You cannot kill what God has lived. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? I prophesy. When they think you should reduce, the Lord will enlarge you. Ah! Ah, this is a mind of enlargement. When they think you become small, the Lord will enlarge you. I say enlarge. 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 Your lamp is about to carry the fire. Your lamp is about to carry the fire. Your lamp is about to carry the fire.